Ernie Shavers looks really confident. And, Jerry, you sort of mentioned that you think that Ernie really feels good about the way he's fighting right now, don't you? Well, he's, uh, without question, the hardest puncher in the heavyweight division. And that bars none. And that, didn't, that includes George Foreman. Well, they or said that he hit any one punch. But didn't Ernie Shaver lay one right on your chin when you knocked him out? Well, uh, I saw it on the film the next day and realized that he had hit me with one. I didn't feel it. But then uh, I was one of the few gifted ones that could take just about anything somebody threw at me. That could either be good or bad, but in your case, it was excellent. Well, not too often. Sometimes I sit in there a little too long. <laughs> There's Ernie Shaver. 53 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, 51 by knockouts. And that's an incredible record. He's 31 years old. That's Ernie Shaver's. Howard Smith was just introduced. There he is. Boy, he's tall. He looks good. He's 6 foot 3. There's Ernie. Boy, is he decked out in a brilliant red piece uh, of fighting trunks there. And he is with a, with a shaved head, and I asked him yesterday, why the shaved head? And he said, well, because it makes me look mean. And I said, well, why do you want to look mean? And he said, well, first of all, it intimidates my opponent, and then I come out with my power right away. And with the shaved head and the okay, intimidation and the power, the I get rid of him quick. So you know something? Let's listen to the instructions right now. It's way. So I want you to conduct yourself like gentlemen. In case of a knockdown, I want to score the knockdown, go to the furthest corner. In case of you lose, the mouthpiece continues to fight. Okay. Ooh, Good luck to both of y'all and keep your punches up Howard and protect is, yourself uh, at all times. Howard since been here, seems a, a little timid to me. Really does. Looks like he, he's very nervous over this fight. But, all uh, right, hey, Corey. It's, big, it's his biggest fight of his career. That's, That's one. right. Let's get ready to fight. A big payday for Ernie Shavers and a tremendous opportunity for Howard Smith. He's rated sixth by Ring Magazine now in the world. I'm talking about Howard Smith, not Ernie Shaver. Okay, Ernie is, Ernie's going to have to believe that uh, this is not going to be an easy one because it's not. There's nothing going to be easy about it. Five-point must system in Nevada. Ten rounds. Richard Green is the referee in the ring, and he may be busy. Well, Shavers likes to come out and bomb early now. He's and he can bomb, but so can Howard Smith. So Ernie Shavers can, as I said earlier, cannot throw caution to the wind. He's got to put himself together and throw the punches right. So Howard beat him to the punch. Howard Smith scored just before that big right came from Ernie Shaver. That's what he has to do. He's got a longer reach. He's got to take advantage of that reach. Pretty stiff jab. Catches Howard moving a little bit. He is the taller of the two. But I'll tell you one thing. Ernie Shavers is really muscled up in the upper body, isn't he? Well, he's, he's been lifting weights, which is uh, something that most boxers don't often do because of it ties up the muscles and uh, makes you a slower fighter and can result in uh, very bad and very poor stamina, which has been questionable thing about Ernie Shaver. Pretty good counterpunching by Howard Smith, who's on the ropes, but he beat Ernie to the punch, yeah. Round one now, of ten. Don't forget, we have those two ladies coming up in just a little while. Rather interesting. One of the better punches right now are being thrown by Smith. There's no question in my mind about that. If he can build up a little confidence in himself, he, uh, he may give Ernie one heck of a show. He got hit with that foot that hurt him, too. That's the one thing about Shavers. He can hit you with either hand. He's not him in trouble. He's got him hurt. All right, a good right hand. And another good right hand for this one. Shaver missed about three big right hands and okay. finally hit him with that fourth one. That he did. Now he's, that's what he's got to do is keep the hands up now. Keep them up high. He's bleeding from the mouth a little bit. He gets hit three times and Shaver's all over him again. Back to the neutral corner. And now Howard Smith is staggering. He doesn't even know where he is. No, he doesn't. No. Green is counting. He's checking him out to make sure so he doesn't get anybody hurt. He's all right, he's safe. being stopped. Ernie Shaver did come out and go to war in round number one. As we suspected that he might.
So he shows that he still has the bomb. Here's and the he first time. He was throwing time. him over there. That, he hit him a right hand on a button that started the damage, and it, he was definitely hurt. As you saw, it was right hand behind, behind me. Behind the ear is what caused that. I'll tell you one thing, Ernie has a little bit of killer in him, too. He went for the kill, no matter where Howard was. But now he's got to, he still has to maintain, because Smith has had a full minute to relax and rest. Hasn't he got a move, though, Jerry? Hasn't he got a jab and move away from him? He, he, he's going to have to do some punching of his own. Ernie Schaefer is really out of for Howard Smith in round number two, like he was in number one. Remember, he has 32 knockouts inside of two rounds. And he does. Howard Smith has got to start throwing punches here. He's not going to do anything, just sitting there waiting for the other man to throw. Boy, a lot of instructions from boss man Jones and Slate, but that won't help Howard Smith right now. Those punches that Ernie's, Ernie's kind of punching himself out. He's not throwing the proper punches. A little hit and hold in there. tend to knot up a little bit if he doesn't finish somebody. Say, He'll stick around. So far, I've seen that's exactly what he's done. He's tied himself up. The punches are... He got hit a good left hand in the middle of that one. This could become an interesting fight. We're in round two, and can you punch yourself out and not finish the job? That's the big question. Well, he's done it before. I, we saw him with his fight with Tiger Roy Williams, where he punched himself out and got extremely tired. Pretty good left hook. Was partially blocked there. Uh, Smith. Smith. He's coming now back. He's coming back now. He built up that confidence and said, hey, I've taken the best this guy can throw, and I'm still here. Howard Smith is 30 years old. Got started late. He got hit a right hand, and he hurt Chaffin. Backed him out. No of question that. about it. He hurt Chaffin. This time in the second round, he tried in the first and almost got knocked off a little bit. Howard came well, back for a few minutes. Yeah, he got hit a, a Chambers got hit a solid right hand over there that really looked to me like he buckled his left leg. Wacky Gennaro and the group are bringing Ernie right above us. There he is. Let's see the replay, Jerry. There's Ernie Shaver now. He won't see this. We'll talk to him in a minute, perhaps, and show him what he's done. This is where Howard was coming back. Howard right? was throwing some wicked shots. Now, he was doing the same thing the Shavers were doing earlier. Holding behind the head. Now, right hand there. That's what started Smith on his way out. Looks to me like the left hook was one of the best things that Ernie hit with. There you see Howard just trying to go to the other side of the ring, and the legs just, just wouldn't make it work. No legs under him. That's it. There they are, Blackie Gennaro and Ernie Shaver, who had a big payday today You're going and came out and lived up to his expectations, and that is the big right and left hand combinations early in a fight. He has 54 wins now, still only the five losses and 52 knockouts. And as we said, 33 before the second round bell is tolled. There's Howard Smith. They're getting it together over there, and there was some complaint that perhaps Green didn't stop it soon enough because Howard had taken a tremendous beating in only two rounds. Now Jerry Quarry is up in the ring, and in just a moment we'll get the victor, Ernie Shaver, over and talk to the great uh, heavyweight contender and uh, my colleague, Jerry Quarry. Jerry, do you have him up there yet? I'm trying to get him over here, Tommy. Okay. Come on over here, Ernie. How you doing there, partner? Okay. Well, you know, uh, I knew that you were going to come out punching, and you did in the first round, and you hurt him early, and it looked like you might get rid of him. But there in the second round, it looked to me you got here a good right hand that uh, kind of backed you up. I saw your left leg buckle a little bit. Did he hit you a good shot? Yeah, Jerry, I've been on the doctor for last week. I had a flu for last week, and I'm lucky I fought. I thought he yeah. right hand, but he sure looked last two days, I couldn't go to the gym. I've been sick. I'm down with the flu. No, really? Well, I'm, uh, good luck. You did a good job. We're going to watch replay right you, now, Jerry. okay? Thank you. He come back. He come back with a nice right hand after he got stoned. Now, Ernie, I'm going to ask you, you want to explain to me what's happening here? Well, I caught a couple of good shots on the chin, and a couple of cuts, straight right hand at folks. 
He's in trouble. Yeah, I know he's in trouble. I start bringing the hands up. He's ducking down. You know, you did a good job because I know that he hit you with a good solid right hand that did buckle your leg. And then you came back and, and you showed him that, uh, hey, I've been hit before and uh, I'm going to be hit again, but I'm going to stay in there and get rid of you. You're right, because he hit me with good shots, but I got a lot of heart. I was determined to win this fight. Right, no way. And I, I couldn't give up. No. I hit with a good shot. I couldn't quit. Well, let me tell you something, Ernie, with the, with the heavyweight situation of today, Jimmy Young just fought George Foreman and defeated George Foreman. And now uh, Ken Norton's going to be fighting Dwayne Bobbick. And you're knocking out everybody that uh, that you've been fighting. I guess that maybe you'll get your shot soon. Yeah, I have to, Jerry. Uh, they can keep ducking me. Uh, I like to fight uh, Norton, Young, or former one of those guys. But they all get amnesia when it's my name. They all turn their head the other way. Well, we all know that you, you do hold a one-round knockout over Jimmy Young as well as a ten-round draw in your second fight with him. What do you think uh, you're capable of doing with uh, these kind of guys? Well, I think I can knock Young out if we get to fight. Uh, I would, like I said, I was sick for this fight. Uh, my leg was a little tired a week because I've been sick for the last week. But uh, I think I can knock Young out if we get to shot at him. Let me tell you something. For, the, for a man who was sick, you still got an awful lot of power in your... Uh, and your punches and I all I gotta say is congratulations you did a heck of a job and uh, let's go on and get the title shot huh okay Jerry thank, thank you a lot Jerry yeah, see you uh, hey, thanks Jerry hey. back to you Tommy Ernie Shaver two great heavyweight contenders I might add and Laverne and the four daughters are back in Ohio watching this fight and our congratulations of course to Ernie Shaver and the entire family back there right we'll be back with more boxing action from Las Vegas Nevada right after this word from your local station don't go away well, I'll tell you. You really don't know what the man is doing. 